What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be doing Dragon Ball. We're going to be doing Vegeta, Ultra Ego, and Goku, Ultra Instinct. The, the fight we all want to see, we're all dying to see. So, um, I've kind of repurposed an, another image of Vegeta. It's kind of, it's kind of, he's kind of the same, just with no eyebrows. And kind of this purple energy around him. So, let's give it a go. I'm on landscape paper large landscape paper, use a pencil and an eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. So we'll start with Vegeta over here on the right hand side. So center point of my page is about here, come over to the right hand side, we're going to start with his nose. So his nose is just this sort of L shape, right? So we're in profile, right? So the L comes down and in, right like that. And we got kind of a shadow. It's just on the nose here, just underneath. And then his brow comes up this way. And then it goes off this way for his forehead. So if we know where his brow is, we know where his eyebrow roughly is, although he doesn't have eyebrows. So we'll just give him sort of our standard sort of frown, like Super Saiyan 3 sort of thing going on, right? So, where is my light? I'm just trying to get the Super Saiyan 3. Okay, so this eyebrow. So it'll kind of go down here by this area, this brow area, and then it'll go up, diagonal, To about here and then we have a piece of the brow that comes down back up and around to there on the end and then he has a frowning sort of section brow line just back here and maybe like some frowns on his nose like some bump lines on his nose here so then in under this we have his eye so standard sort of Super Saiyan eye, so we have the large line there, and then the shorter line here, and then we will join those together, the curved line there. And his eyes are fairly big, right, because he's got this sort of golden section around them, so we've got like this curve section here. And then he's kind of looking down at Goku, so like the pupil would be sort of here, I think, somewhere. So right there. And then we have some cheek marks coming across his face. So these sorts of lines that Dragon Ball characters have. And then his lips and his mouth. So, top lip sort of sticks out a little bit, then goes in. Then he's gritting his teeth, so his mouth is kind of comes in around here. Like this. And then a line just here for the teeth. And then teeth at the back here like that. And then his bottom lip comes down. He curves in a little bit and then out for his chin. So his chin then goes in this way. And then his jaw, right? So we can see some of his neck and then his jaw. So his neck comes in here and then comes down, and then his jaw will go up this way. So down, just try and tidy this up a little bit. This is his jaw here, and it goes up towards his earlobe. Go up to there. Right, so then his earlobe's here, right? So it starts 
just there like that. And then he has an earring on his ear. So he's got like a rectangular sort of earring just sitting on his ear here. It's golden. And then the rest of his ear comes around. the top down like so and then there might be like some extra bumps and things inside his ear this kind of stuff bones and ligament lines inside his ear roughly like that right and then we have his hair so his sideburn sort of here comes back in and up around for his forehead and hairline like so and there could be a line just for his bottom lip and his hair there Right, so speaking of hair, we have some hair coming out the back of his neck here. All the way down to there. Right, so then we will have hair spikes going all the way around, right, and all the way around to the front. So, let's see. I guess we'll, we'll go to the front and work our way back because he's got, like, a couple of layers of hair. So we've got, like, one coming out from his forehead just here. Back in. And then, uh, now you can do as many of these as you want, but we'll just, I'll just make it simple. So we'll just go like standard sort of to there. We'll leave another one here. So there's, then there's like a big one here, coming out this way, and this comes back into there, and there's a small one in here. And then we've another one sticking out here. In to there, and then his neck sort of comes down a bit further down that way. And then we have a couple more spikes just inside here, so he's got like a real big one right up to the top of the page there, and this goes back in to there, and then one more into there and so there's like all texture like there's black lines and texture lines and stuff inside so you can't really see much right but, but we'll just add some texture and then there's like black shading and stuff but i'll do that at the end i'll color it all black all inside here and purple i think it's going to be purple i wonder what way they'll do it in the you know the official color of the hair but it looks like purple seems to be the color that any of the colors I've seen, the unofficial colorings of the manga, it's purple. So let's just add another spike there, bring this down. So I think I'll leave that there and then we'll color, color it sort of black and purple, I think. 
Anyway, so come down his neck, right? And we'll add his straps and stuff and more neck muscles. So he's got like this armor on, okay? So there's a strap here and a strap here, right? So this comes down to the front of his armor there and this one comes down to the front of the armor here, okay? This is straps on his shoulder. And then the top of the armor, just here, will go down across his chest, back up the other side, just here. Right, so it's like the top of that armor that he wears. And there's all anatomy inside here, right? So we've got like another neck muscle line here. Two bumps for the chest coming across just here. Like so. And then another longer sort of neck muscle line following this one comes down here. And then a long one here. And another one outside that goes up and around there. And actually another one coming down from his ear, just kind of there. And he's got a like a collar like high on his neck, so kind of curves around these neck muscle lines. Okay, so you got to curve around, bump around each one. Do that, and then this one goes up there. Then you can see a bit of a shoulder. Just there, maybe an extra neckline or something there right so then these shoulder pads have like I don't know, like you just extra edges to them just sort of like make them sort of 3d sort of like so try and make them look um, just a bit blocky or something same over here like so roughly okay so Uh, right, so then we'll finish like his body armor in here, right? So we've got like an extra line going around this. So you just kind of follow this line again. Here, and then we meet like a chest plate. So there's like a piece of chest armor. Looks like a, a chest muscle. Just here. And another one on this side. Slightly smaller on this side because it's kind of turned away from us. Like so. Just there. And then his torso will curve down. So we'll come down from the edges. There. The torso on this side will come down. Here, and then we have a waistband that comes across the middle. Curving line coming around here. And then we have more armor plates on the inside. So we've got like a big one in the center. Come around the sides like that triangular up down and then there's all lines coming across this it always reminds me of a turtle shell for some reason like so and then more lines coming down here 
some more of these edge lines then. Like so. Right, so we can see a little bit of his shoulder just here. Bumps around and like an extra deltoid muscle or something there. And his arm just goes down off my page. Maybe we can see some of his white glove just coming out. Coming out here, but not much. Some of his body that way. And then his leg going off that way. Right, so he's an arm coming up here and he's doing this kind of two finger sort of pose, right? So we'll add that. So his shoulder comes out from his shoulder strap here. Curves around like so. And the bottom of that shoulder slash, it's kind of like his bicep as well. So his bicep and shoulder line. Comes out there, and then there's another like shoulder muscle here, and another one there. And then the bottom of his arm and his bicep comes out from here. Maybe there should be like another line just there for bicep, tricep comes out there, and then his forearm comes up here. So his arm is like shortened because it's sort of bent up so that means we have his forearm here right so we got a line coming down like this so this is his glove right just there and then the side of his forearm will come down and we'll kind of go in just to there the other side down in they made the elbow in the bottom pointy comes back around to this part of his arm here and this goes down into there. A line like so. All right, so then the hand. Take your time with hands now. Hit pause a lot because they're they're pretty tricky. So we've got like the palm of his hand here, right? So like it's kind of like folds for for his glove and stuff. Just this sort of bottom part. It's kind of always reminds me of a W sort of shape, you know, down here. And then his thumb kind of curled in along the side here, up around to there. And then this comes up like so. comes to there like so right and then he has these like two fingers sticking up and two down so the two down ones they're a bit easier we'll do them first so we got to do these like angles so change of shape you know change direction into there and then we have the bottom knuckle bottom knuckle on that on that one and then the finger goes up and then top knuckle Finger goes up, and then the top knuckle here. Knuckle lines. Like so, right? So then those two fingers that are kind of doing this kind of thing. It's a pretty difficult hand position to, to hold. It's like, oh, it's like that. Oh, can't do it. But, let's go. So we'll do the index here. So we go on the side, like this, and then the top of his finger comes around, up, into there, cross, down. And then you got like knuckle lines on top. Then the other finger just beside it, so we go over, up, bottom of the finger, and then up to here. Knuckle on top, some knuckle lines, and like a full line just for skin or the glove there. Then he's like lines for like the palm of his hand, the inside of his hand, just here. Okay, so Goku 
that's pretty much Vegeta. He's got aura on him. Um, but I think I'll I'll do Goku first, and then we'll add aura. Goku doesn't really have aura when he's in Ultra Instinct. That's kind of just normal. So we'll go across from um, Vegeta's hand, and he's kind of Goku's like about to punch Vegeta in the face. Sort of, he's like his fist is like right close to his face, and his arm comes out from behind his head. So we'll do his head first. So just across from Vegeta's hand, we'll add this sort of L shape down and in. Sort of like a letter L or an upside down seven. And we'll add the shadow underneath the nose, just like Vegeta, just there. And then forehead comes out. And up to there. So we know where the brow is, then we know where the eyebrow is. Your eyebrow is called your eyebrow because it's on your brow. <laughs> and then top tip. And then so this eyebrow sort of comes up like so. It goes underneath this hair back here. So you can't really see the back of the eyebrow. But I guess we'll draw it in just. All right, so standard Dragon Ball curves up, gets big on the end. And then. Bring it down and we get real thin as we go down here. And there's eye. Curved line. Smaller line on this end. And then we join them together. And then his eye is relatively big as well. Curves around, and then the black in here, looking sort of up at Vegeta's eye up there. His mouth, so we'll go down and just do his, oh wait, cheek, cheek marks first. Should I, yeah. And then his mouth. So his top lip sticks out a little bit and then goes in. His mouth is closed, so then we just have bottom lip comes down there. And then mouth, just serious sort of downturned kind of mouth. Chin. And then chin goes in. And then back for his jaw. And then we go further for his jaw and then change direction up for his ear. It could be again some lines just for his bottom lip, just like there. Right, so his ear, just here, curves around, up, goes sort of underneath some hair up here, but. We'll draw it in anyway. And we can erase whatever lines we shouldn't see then. So his earlobe, just here, bumpy sort of thing. Dragon Ball ears are, can be quite big, so. Carve line here. Like so. Right, so he's flying towards Vegeta. So like his hair spikes and stuff are kind of being pushed back by the wind, right? So there's one that comes across the eyebrow here. We'll start with that one. So it like comes up, down. Back to there. And then we go spike it up. And then one comes out from behind his brow so it goes out and up to there then bring it back down like so then we one that sticks out from the, his forehead just here and 
and then we go back this way. Right, so that's his fringe being sort of blown back, right? And then we have three sticking out from behind his ear and then two more large ones just up here. So we'll do the large ones first. So the one comes up and over and then back down. And then this sort of big one back here then. back of his head there and then hair spike again Right, and then we have all texture lines and stuff on his on his hair, so. So you're just adding, following the shape for each sort of spike, you're just adding short sort of lines like so. Right, so then I'll just erase the eyebrow line just that we shouldn't see just there. Okay, so we'll do his body so he's launching himself in right so his neck sort of comes back kind of horizontal back this way like so 
and then we have a neck muscle line coming down from close to his ear there and this meets his chest which so like the center line for his chest is like here so it comes down like so and then his chest muscle line This way, so like chest muscle fibers here, and then we go pectoral, go down around to there. Then we have a nipple sort of here. So I don't like this line here, I'm gonna just fix that. The rest is good. This line, not so much. All right, so like so, and you could have some like chest muscle lines here. And then the other pectoral muscle, so it comes out from there, up around into here, and then top of it goes in around his neck. And then we have some like neck muscle lines, chest muscle lines there. And then his abs at the front, so his diaphragm. And then ab goes down, kind of sticks out here. And then goes in for his trousers and up this way. And his, his trousers are kind of ripped and torn down here. So we got like all these spiking lines going back that way and then we got ab lines and stuff so diaphragm back that way abdominal muscle line there here and then like his what we can see of his trousers and stuff so it comes down this way and some coming back here and I think his his leg so fold lines for his knee and his knee will go across just underneath this chest here. Like so, right. So then, um, so we should see some of his shoulder here. So, right, so his neck coming out from the back of his head, just there. And then we have a big shoulder muscle, like that. And then the bottom shoulder muscle, like here. And then another one. So, like in Dragon Ball, the shoulders are kind of these balls that look like sort of basketballs. Tricep would go off back back off the back of my page there. Here's another line coming in here. And then a bit of an armpit line. Should be anyway, a bit of an armpit line there. And a line coming in here.
so then with Goku, you know, you can have um, all sorts of scratches and stuff on his face if you wanted. You know, you could do the same to Vegeta, you know, they've been destroying each other in a fight. So you can add as much of this sort of scratches and stuff as you want. I'll add some chest muscle lines there as well. Maybe another neck muscle line just there. Just some scratches and stuff on Vegeta. Right, and then, so as I said, Goku's like punching Vegeta in the face nearly. So we have his, so his wristband just coming out from his head here, right? And it's kind of torn and stuff. sort of jaggedy and things coming down here, right? Right, and his arm will go back in behind his head here. And then his fist comes right out here, right? And it's nearly touching Vegeta's face. So we've got like a knuckle here and then another knuckle here. And this comes down like right close to Vegeta's nose, really. So it comes right down here, comes around, back around there. And then the underside of this hand just comes out here we can see some of this finger here and then so his thumb goes in behind maybe some like thumb lines just in there some scratches so can we see any something down down? Maybe it goes back that way a little bit. Like so, right. And then so that's pretty much Goku. And then we're gonna give Vegeta some of that um aura that he has, right? So it's like this spiking. Aura coming around his body. So, just let's just say, like. on his hair as well and if you go if you draw over any of Vegeta's anatomy you can just erase the lines underneath and then colour over and that's what I'm gonna do so like this will be like purple in here and I can just erase that I can just erase those lines quite easily so and then there's a bit that comes out from, say, behind his mouth here. Comes down along his bicep. So, right, and then there's a bit that comes up across his body, sort of in here.
like so. And then they'll be like colored purple. So any sort of bits you wanna erase, you can. Um, that's about it. And if you want, you know, you can add um, like lines just to show some movement like this some dots and stuff. Sometimes it's helpful. Whoosh lines is what I call them. <laughs> Shows that he's going whoosh. 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 That's not the technical term, obviously. <laughs> right, but I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw Goku Ultra Instinct versus Vegeta Ultra Ego. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.